guys, this is Val from Val K Inc. Welcome back to my channel. And let me just start off by saying Happy New Year to everyone. I hope everyone is having a safe and happy holiday season. Plus, they have some new fun stuff coming in this year for 2022. I can't believe we're still doing this. We're still having a really fun time collecting and sharing videos and commenting on everything here on YouTube. And I am going to be here, still sticking around, still doing this. I hope you guys aren't sick of me. Let's get started with some stuff that just came in that are new things, plus some things that I got for the holidays. First up, my copy of Demon Slayer Mugen Train came in. This is the movie that was the smash hit of last year. And here is all the art on this. Set your heart ablaze. Finally, the Demon Slayer movie in my hands. I haven't even watched this yet. This just like literally came in. And I watched this in theaters. I was really happy. This is the first thing I saw in theaters when I was able to go to them again. And yes, I have the standard edition because I have the series as standards, so I like them to match. The inside art is the promo art. I have the Chirishi poster of this. I love it. I'm so happy to finally have this movie on my shelf to keep the Demon Slayer love going. And of course, the new season is airing right now as well. I'm really enjoying it. I really like the way they're animating it. And don't worry if you didn't pre-order this one because when I was in my Walmart the other day, I saw an entire shelf full of these. Yes, half the shelf was gone, but still, that's a lot of anime movies to be up after the holidays, so you can still pick this one up. And it is a very fun movie. It's very shonen. You have to be into that. But there are some scenes in this that are just animated with such sweetness and just such beauty. I really do recommend it. Even if you're not a Demon Slayer fan, if you want to get a flavor for Demon Slayer, you can always just start with the movie. Uh, this is in the middle of the series, though, so if you're planning to do the whole series, start with uh, Season 1, Episode 1, but I still really enjoy this movie. Next up, some new stuff from our favorite discotheque. This is Kudacha, and I watched a few of these episodes, oh, years and years ago, but this is a fantastic series. If you just love anime in general, or just really energetic characters, or just comedy, just that general anime 90s humor and those expressions, uh, Kodacha is fantastic, and this is a really good buy. This is the whole complete first series. Uh, it is 51 episodes, English and Japanese, and I suggest, you know, both. Uh, I never thought this would actually come to the States or to Western audiences like this, so I'm really pleased. I can't wait to get into this one. And this year, I really do want to dive into all of the series I have that are longer series, and that definitely includes this one. Here is the disc art. It is beautiful. It is perfect in tone with the series. And the uh, reverse art I'm not going to pull out because it's just the cover once again. But yeah, really, really happy to own this one. Really looking forward to getting into this one this year. Next up is Project Aiko, and this is the perfect edition from Discotech. Yes, the new pretty Blu-ray version. So I never owned Project Aiko. I've only seen a few scenes out of it. Um, but I've always wanted to just sit down and watch it in full, so now I can finally do that. Here is the disc art, and I want to show you guys the reverse art is the original cover. And it's very nice, it's very good, but I do actually prefer this new cover. I just think it fits the feel of Project Echo. I think it's beautiful, it's so well done, I love the colors. And I think I'm just going to keep it like that for now. But I do love that that option is there, especially for people that are like old school fans, like people that love Project Echo. Oh man, they will let you know about it, and rightfully so. So it's nice to finally have this one in the collection as well. Next up are some gifty things that I got from my parents and family. This is Toilet Bound Hanukkah-kun. You guys already know, I've mentioned it before, you've seen the poster. I really do enjoy Toilet Bound Hanukkah-kun. I've already read the manga. And I've already seen, I think, the first three episodes of this. I didn't finish watching it because I already knew I was going to own it. Like, <laughs> there was just no question. I was like, oh, I can just watch this when I get it in. But here is the disc art. And I want to show you guys the inside art for this. Because I love this art style. It's this very, like, digital painted art style. 
It's beautiful. It's very masterfully done, especially in the manga. Uh, the color spreads are some of my favorite in recent years. Highly encourage you guys to go look those up if you haven't. But yeah, this is a very good, like, half shoujo series, half haunting, half just crazy spirits inhabiting a school. And it really ramps up. It starts slow, but then it really starts to ramp up and you really start to like these characters, especially Hanako-kun himself. He's just really delightful in this series. So yes, I have this. I'm really hoping that we get another season of this soon. I think there's no way they completed all of the story in this, and I definitely want all of it to be animated. Otherwise, if you prefer manga, highly recommend the manga as well. Next up, uh, this is... Joker Game, and Joker Game came out a little while ago, and I meant to watch it, and I didn't. Sometimes I put things on a list, and then I lose the list, and then I just don't go back to it because I'm watching a lot of stuff. But finally, I have my own Joker Game. So here are the Blu-rays. This is really cool. I actually do like when they have like character art in this reflective disc. So I really like that. Um, I think this is a spy series spy versus spy type series and I'm really looking forward to watching this so I actually think I like this cover better <laughs> I'm gonna go with that I do like that the essentials have that option but uh, this one was from my dad and my dad notoriously buys things for me based on the covers so this was an excellent choice. I'm very, very excited. Let me know in the comments if you guys have watched Joker Game, what you think of it. I, it looks very stylish. I, I look forward to getting into this one. Next up, one that I know absolutely nothing about, but I do love the character designs. This is Knights and Magic, the complete series. I remember this being highly rated, and a lot of people liked it. This is another isekai. And the interesting part I want to show you guys is this really cool disc art. What they did was they have like a holographic print on the actual disc and then a clear coat and then character art and title on top of it. So it actually looks like the character is floating on the disc. I don't know if I explained that properly. It looks better in person. But I really like the way they did this disc art. Like, I wasn't expecting it to look that nice. And this is one of the, I think, essentials? Yeah, one of the first of the essentials. So it isn't an alternate cover as much as it's a poster. I guess you could make it your cover. It definitely looks nice. Um, I asked my dad what brought his eye to this one, and he just said robot. <laughs> Which I think is the right response, because you know what? That works for me, too. I like, I like big robot. So that is Knights and Magic. Have you guys seen this one? I, I don't have anyone in like my friend circle groups that have watched this, so I might be the first there for some of my friends. But yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to this. I just, I love getting anime that I wouldn't normally see or uh, wouldn't generally pick out for myself, especially when I don't know that much about it. But this one looks very pretty, so I am looking forward to it. I'm really glad I just have a copy in my hands. And last, but certainly not least, this is Violet Evergarden, the complete series. And when I asked my dad why this one, he said, um, pretty. <laughs> and it is. And this is one that I've been meaning to sit down and watch because every time I talk to someone about this series, they just, they say I, they can't talk about it. You have to just go watch it yourself. That it is just gorgeous and worth experiencing. So now that I have the series, God, I love, I love scenery like this. I love background art. It's just one of my favorite things. So seeing these discs, whoo, that's pretty. <laughs> um, anyway, so now that I have this in the collection, like that, I have to really go out of my way and pick up the movie next time I see it. And look at the art on this. Just fantastic. I love this kind of stuff. So yeah, I am going to definitely, definitely be watching those this year. I'm very excited for it. And that's pretty much everything I got. I was pretty excited, not gonna lie. I was very, very excited with everything that everyone picked out for me. And it's just so sweet that they are all on board with my crazy collecting habits. And it just was a fantastic Christmas. This is the first Christmas in my house. So I was very happy about that. 
I'm just going to lay everything out, I think. Just like this. And it's a great array of just everything I love and my tastes and just what I'm really looking forward to this year. So that is everything. And I just want to say hi to all my subscribers. You guys rock. There are going to be way more videos coming in soon. And I just hope that you guys are all safe and sound out there and living your best lives. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.